of a band of ruthless criminals, the mysterious and masked gargoyle, backed by millions from an unknown power, attempts to wreck production for national defense. The police, baffled, seek the aid of Richard Wentworth, the famous amateur criminologist, sometimes masquerading as the spider, thus concealing his identity from both criminals and the police. Wentworth pits his wits and strength against the gargoyle in preventing sabotage, subversive activities, and other crimes. The gargoyle's resourcefulness produces an X-ray eye machine, which, by remote control, reveals the movements of his gangsters. Still seeking the man higher up, Blinky accompanies the gang to steal plans for a new bomb site. We got him, Brigger. The bridge is out ahead. Exactly that. I intend to act. Now, we've tried your way and we've got exactly nowhere. Unless something is done, there'll be a catastrophe with a big loss of life. Admitted, but what are you going to do? Raid the known hideout. Bring them in. Make them talk. Uh, don't do that, Commissioner. You know what happened to the others. They were killed before they could talk. Well, I'll see that doesn't happen again if I have to use the entire force. All right, Commissioner. Maybe you will listen to me after you fail. Well, one of us is wrong. And I'm going through with this and I just wanted to warn you. Thanks. What did Kirk want? Well, Kirk's going to raid the crook's hideout. He'll ruin everything I've worked for if I don't beat him there. Keep your fingers crossed. Come on, Jackson. I've got to get there before Kirk. After you drop me, go to the saloon and lay low. If things don't work out, I'll need you badly. Don't worry. I'll be Johnny on the spot. In fact, my middle name is Johnny. Okay, Johnny.
the idea of using the window. We might have blasted you. Oh, can the chatter. Get in your duds. This place is going to be knocked off. The cops again? Yeah, there ain't no time for chatter. Is there anything you don't want them to find? Yes. Wreck that radio in there while we get dressed. Okay. Get in the rear so they can't make a getaway. Come on, crash the door. Why do you have any rises? Hey, Hill, watch the door. What's the matter? Number seven was knocked over. I... We just beat the rat. Now keep your eyes open while I report to the boss. Why bother the big shot? You got away, didn't you? Well, it's not that. But the job last night was a bust. Yeah, you speak for yourself. I done my job. He can't yell at me. You mean you cracked the safe and got the blueprint? Sure. When the cops crashed in, I laid low while they chased you guys ragged. Then I opened the cheese box at my own sweet will. And I got the blueprints. No, no. I'm handing them over to the big shot himself and get the dough on the line. I can't take it to the boss till he gives the word. Okay, no dough, no papers. Ah, if it's money you want, here's plenty on account. Gee, what a what. And all new, too. Didn't I tell you? Money don't mean nothing. Come on, get. No, I make the deal with the big chat himself, or the deal's cold. All right, stubborn. I'll see what he says. G1 calling DIC. G1 calling DIC. DIC answering. Come in, G1. Report success of operations. You're crazy. I'm no different. I still listen to police broadcasts. The new man secured prize. Wants to make deliveries in person. That's impossible. Pay him what he wants and bring the plans here. Well, what do you say? You heard him. And he don't change his mind. All right, I hate arguments. Give me the dough. Everything's Jake, boss. I'm bringing the blueprints in. Bring them right in. If I'm not here, wait for me. This will set you in strong. Make yourself at home. I'm on my way. for my plant, and it's headed for the person I'm after. Don't lose him. Not a chance. I'm after their license number and staring straight into them. Could that be the place? We'll soon know. Hi, right, Fred. We're going to freshen up a bit. Okay, fellas. They said something about cleaning up a bit. Look in the washroom. Oh, thanks. Oh, 
Oh, don't get impatient. He'll be here. Why not let me look at them? I'll have to work on them anyway. Not on your life. Nobody gets them but the gargoyle. Oh, all right, all right. No offense. Ought to get something off this. It's been used plenty. <laughs> Hello, Martin. <laughs> Hello, Commissioner. Hope I'm not interfering. Not now you're not. Somebody skipped them off. Well, don't look at me. I'm on the same side of the law as you. Well, somebody did, and I'm picking on you because you objected to my making this raid. I'm checking over everything. Well, that's a good idea. Oh, by the way, do you mind if I take that radio back to the lab? I don't know. It's only a regular two-way radio, isn't it? Well, I'm not so sure. I'd like to examine it. Well, what do you expect to gain by that? Well, I might pick up their wavelength. All right. Go ahead and take it. Thank you. There. Didn't I tell you? Give me those plans. Quick. Assemble this at once. But that's impossible, Master. This requires the very finest precision machine work. But I must know if they're authentic. I can't tell from blueprints. I could easily draw you a picture so you can see what it looks like. That'll do. Get at it and hurry. This Blinky is a good man, but a stubborn one. Operator O, calling DIC, calling DIC. I'm afraid it's a waste of time, Dick. You don't think he'd be fool enough to answer? Well, he might. Operator O, calling DIC, calling DIC. That's not Operator O. That's Winthrop's voice. DIC answering. Come in, Operator O. I've got it. Operator O wants instruction. Come in, DIC. Operator Rowe wants instruction. Come in, D.I.C. I had him, I tell you, I had him. Well, don't look at us. We haven't opened our mouths. You've got the wavelength, the answer. So what? Well, if I were sure, I have a radio direction finder that would lead us straight to his hideout. Oh, it's just a waste of time. Oh, come on, get out here. Clear out and let me work. Could he do that and trail us here? Perhaps. If he lived, but he won't have that opportunity. Gather your men at seven, sharp, tonight. We'll tune in on Mr. Wentworth and... Well, this is so silly, him sitting at that radio hour after hour. Well, he's uh, stubborn. Once he starts anything, he goes through with it. Yeah, he just threw me out on my ear. Well, this is one time I'm putting my foot down. The proverbs say that little foot of woman makes small imprint. Better take larger weapon. Don't try to be funny. My feet are big enough and I know it. I'll miss you. You know what I'm saying? One of these days, those proverbs of yours are going to backfire on you. Operator O, calling DIC, calling DIC. Oh, look, Dick, you haven't eaten a bite. It's nearly 7 o'clock. Take time out for just a snack. I'm not going to let this thing beat me. Operator O, calling DIC. I admire his persistence. It'll soon be rewarded. If my orders have been carried out, the men are getting into position right now. Tom Steffens, this might be interesting. Calling DIC. Operator O, calling DIC, calling DIC. DIC answering. This is DIC on the air. This is the gargoyle. You're a fool, Wentworth. Your efforts to trace me are useless. You're in my power right now. Too bad those with you must suffer for your mistakes. What does he mean? Get me out of here. No, I won't go. Come on, hurry. No.
wonder the gargoyle's inventor is worried. The boss expects the sketch is a new bomb site. What do you think? One of these men may be the gargoyle. Which one do you suspect? Don't miss the mysterious message. Next week's amazing chapter of The Spider Returns.